Right, so I've got a lot of crap I want to get through in this video, so I'm just going to jump straight in and get through it. Something I keep telling myself lately whenever I'm about to do something that might not be that worthwhile or I could be doing something better with my time, like whenever I'm about to drop 400 euro on a lens for my camera that I'm never going to use, or like before I buy a new video game that's going to take up 90% of my time for the next three weeks and I know it, I tell myself, you haven't saved the princess yet. And I know it sounds cheesy and lame and dumb or whatever, I just say to myself, in my head, not even out loud, just whenever I'm about to do it, let's go, you haven't saved the princess yet though. It's not saying you shouldn't do that, it's just me saying maybe you could do something more worthwhile first. Basically what I wanted to announce in this video is I've decided to shave my head at the end of August, maybe the beginning of September, in aid of charity. So the actual charity I'm donating my hair to is called the Little Princess Trust. And basically it was set up to provide real hair wigs to young children who have lost their hair because of cancer treatment. And basically this charity is funded entirely through donations, like people donating their hair or people donating money. If you are up for making any kind of donation, even like two euro or something, I have a sponsorship page, I'll link in the description below. I'd really, really appreciate it if you could donate any kind of amount, just to show some kind of support for this charity. And I know some people are gonna be like, Why the sudden interest in charity work, Will? basically just comes down to one day I was thinking how much I would hate if I woke up one day looked in the mirror and just didn't recognize the person looking back at me and it kind of made me realize how crap that would make me feel then I realized what if it was a little kid who was feeling like that and like it's one thing to change really drastically almost overnight for an adult but I mean for a little kid they might not understand why it's happening or even comprehend what's going on and I think that whole process can just be really scary and maybe this could alleviate that a little bit. So I don't know if I need to explain it any more than that. I know some people are gonna say, Well, this is really just a short term solution to a much bigger problem. Couldn't the money go to something better? And yeah, I understand that, but the way I see it, this is something we can do now for a few kids that could really use it. And that's pretty worthwhile in my opinion. If you guys have any questions or anything about all of this, uh, you can ask in the comments section below. I also have a Twitter and Facebook page if you want to ask me questions over that or maybe talk about all this a little bit. I don't know a lot about how to get things trending on Twitter or whatever, but I was thinking maybe we could do some kind of hashtag. I was thinking hashtag saving the princess, but I mean, I'm open to suggestions. People can think of a better one and can explain to me how hashtags work. If you have enjoyed this video or you agree with what I'm trying to do here, if you could share this video or even just mention it to your friends and family or whoever, just to really kind of get it out there and get it to as many people as possible. Yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching. So there'll be a link to the sponsor...